former Senator Joseph Lieberman from Connecticut, and he was the former chairman of the Senate Committee on Homeland Security. He was also the Democratic candidate for vice president in 2000, so we'll remember. And then we're honored to have with us also today, coming uh, here from Israel, Minister Ehud Barak, former Israeli Prime Minister and Minister of Defense. Thirdly, we'll talk about uh, the whole issue of Iran and the threats from Iran. Uh, and fourthly, uh, talk about Syria and uh, what will happen in Syria. Uh, just, just from those topics alone, you can see how important this region is. And uh, particularly to be here with Sylvia and with Leon, um, I don't. I would guess that Leon doesn't miss Washington, but I miss Leon. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, but Leon Panetta has had an extraordinary career in public service and, and really given uh, great uh, patriotic service uh, to our country. He's a person always of real common sense and insight, uh, worked very hard to get things done. And uh, I always uh, look forward to being with him because not only did he make sense, but it, it, it just his personality filled the room in a way <laughs> that. Uh, uh, gave, gave me pleasure uh, that I often didn't get in meetings in <laughs> Washington. I'd like first of all to thank uh, Sylvia and Leon for inviting uh, us to appear here. Uh, I'm honored and proud uh, to be here on the same stage uh, tonight with great Americans. Uh, we all remember uh, uh, Senator Dick Lugo series of achievements, but I will never forget his contribution to for a better world when he led together with the late Senator Nan, the Lugaran uh, effort to uh, make the, play, the, the place we are all living in a little bit uh, safer. Uh, is probably the best known Monterrey uh, <laughs> on the <laughs> world <laughs> arena. Uh, and the uh, yeah, and uh, somehow a great representative of the American people, a great friend of Israel. I highly feel highly, for all the highly precious, uh, our friendship with him. I should tell you that uh, Leon has probably more the important role, even worse than we had witnessed in the past. And what we see is that basically, what we used to hear that, you know, the root cause for all problems in the Middle East is the fact that Israel was unable to, to reach a peace with the Palestinians. It's not true. Now, even if we had a peace with the Palestinians a generation ago, everything was still uh, hanging there. The, the Muslim Brotherhood had taken over Egypt. A tough civil war would happen in 